Hello, Cowboy fans, and welcome to yet another off-season of our discontent. News is sometimes defined as deviation from the norm. So what happened yesterday is not news. It is the norm. Now, I do want to put this in perspective. Make no mistake, Dallas really fought them. And that was really impressive, particularly a defensive effort in the first half that eliminated the 49ers' vaunted running game and then only wore down a little bit in the second half. And I wouldn't have thought that anybody, anybody, could hold the Niners to 115 rushing yards and 3.5 a carry. That was magnificent. But it wasn't enough. So understand, Dallas was really tough. And I thought at times that defense was magnificent. But I also saw what I saw. The 49ers were even tougher. And it was apparent throughout and let me ask you a tough question, Cowboy fans. Even amidst this defensive brilliance, was there ever a moment in yesterday's game where you thought Dallas was actually going to win? Because I will confess, I did not. Dallas was really tough. San Francisco was even tougher. And you knew this, the moment George Kittle caught that ball on his third attempt, you knew which team would be heading to Philly next weekend. And some things haven't changed, and they're not going to change. And again, I mentioned the fact we go into the off-season of our discontent, and we will do exactly the same thing one year from now, because nothing's going to change. Let me start with Dak for, if no other reason, the fact that everybody else starts with Dak. There is no question what we're seeing here. After seven years in the NFL, his growth has been stunted. This is, in fact, a case of arrested development. And again, I'll go back to this thing about news being defined as deviation from the norm. You know what was deviation from the norm? That performance a week ago against Tampa Bay in which he accounted for five touchdowns and stayed clean with no turnovers. That was his off game. Get your head around that. That was his off game. And what we're seeing here is a pattern. He doesn't see underneath coverage. His eyes are in the wrong place. And in his seventh year in the NFL, he threw multiple interceptions in eight games despite missing five games with that thumb injury. It really is Groundhog Day, and it really is the same thing. And we look at it, and we accept it, and we expect different results. You know the old definition of insanity, right? But here's the thing, it's not gonna change. We're married to him. And this is what Dallas is gonna have to do. You have to accept Dak's position in the current NFL quarterback pecking order. He is mired in the valley of the pretty good. And it's very frustrating because he has a very impressive skill set. And it's also sad because he's a good dude. And being a good dude matters to me. And being a good dude matters when we're talking about a football team that I want to follow. But he is high centered right now. And it's really hard to see how you're going to get him off that. And here's the thing, you're married to him, okay? You're not dating. You're married to that guy. And the same thing with Mike McCarthy. He is in the hall of pretty good, semi-competent head football coach. Kyle Shanahan, he isn't. This is a tough game played by tough people. And again, while I give the Cowboys all the credit in the world because they frankly played better than I thought they would, the gap was not large, but the gap was undeniable. The 49ers are just tougher than the Cowboys, and the 49ers, by a scant margin, are better than the Cowboys. Now, we're fortunate as NFL fans because 
this isn't always the case, but this year, the last four teams standing are clearly the best four teams in football, and everybody else is at a lower quantum level, and that includes the Dallas Cowboys. This is going to be an interesting offseason. Word this morning is that apparently Tony Pollard broke his leg in the game last night. And by the way, when Pollard exited, that was pretty much it because the Cowboys had to have somebody who could match the big play explosive potential of some of the 49er players. And once Pollard was gone, that was it. So in the offseason, what you going to do at running back? What you going to do with Zeke? What you going to do with tight end? What are you going to do in the secondary? I don't, oh, and what do you do without Dan Quinn? Because Dan Quinn is absolutely gone. This is a hard thing to say. But if you recall, in addition to the two picks that he did throw, and that one right before halftime was very costly, but on Dallas's next to last possession last night, you remember that Dak essentially threw what should have been a game-ending walk-in pick six, and they were spared that only because the San Francisco linebacker dropped it. There's part of me, once I had resigned myself to the fact that the 49ers were going to win anyway, there's part of me that wished that guy had taken it to the house because we all would have had to starkly confront what we're seeing. Now we're going to kick the can down the road, and I guarantee you it won't be another 48 hours before I start hearing, We do boys! We well, ain't been in boys for 27 years. Okay? So yeah, that, that, that is arrested development. You're no longer boys. Okay? And I don't want to hear we still are America's team. I don't want to hear we still lead the league in jersey sale. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about television ratings. I watch football because I love football. And that just isn't happening. And they can't get over the hump. And we're going to be right back in the same soup a year from now. And actually, that kind of reflects on us. So here's what I would recommend, and I'm trying it. I think we all just kind of ought to let it go right now. Dallas didn't lose because they blew the game. Dallas lost because they're not quite as good as the San Francisco 49ers. So crying about this is a bunch of wasted hot breath that can give you asphyxia and be bad for your health. So I suggest we all sit down, do a little chair yoga. Repeat after me. Um, but damn, Dak, see that underneath coverage. What's the matter with you? As I leave you on a Monday, I want to give you a research assignment. Uh, two words for you, Terry Kath. Um, Damn, man, I miss you. We are radically rational.